Is it even worth buying a heavy-duty pickup truck with a gas engine? Well, on this episode, I'm gonna find out exactly this because I have a 2024 Chevy Silverado heavy-duty with a big gas 6.6 liter V8 and I'm gonna put it on a Denver 100 MPG loop to find out exactly how it tows when empty and also with this very heavy trailer. And I can compare against diesel trucks and other gas trucks we've tested in the past. Let's do it. As always, TFL runs on Sinclair fuels because of DinoCare additives. You have the DinoPay app. You can save about 10 cents per gallon and also find the closest stations near you with the best deals. All of that put in, into one, bam. I'm using 85 octane today on this loop because it's the most affordable fuel at my disposal. This gas engine is designed to run on regular fuel. At higher elevations, regular fuel means 85 octane. All right, so I'm all topped off. This truck is unladen and I'm ready to go for the Denver 100 loop. It's a highway loop around Denver, Colorado, which is actually 111 miles long. Mr. Truck and I also tested a 2020 brand new Chevy Silverado gas V8, but that truck had a six-speed automatic transmission. General Motors has updated this gas heavy-duty truck with a new transmission, 10-speed Allison branded one. This is an LTZ, which is not the highest level of the GM Heavy Duty, which is high country, but it's near the top. This crew cab, standard bed, 4x4, starts at around 60, 61,000 bucks. So yes, for 2024 model year, uh, prices are going up and up and up. And I'm talking about the LTZ, but this has a few options on top of that as well. So there you go, just a minute or so, I'm on the highway. I'm going to keep to all speed limits, 65 at first, and then 70 or 75 on the tall road, and then a little bit lower speeds, about 55 or 60 on the way back, a few miles here. So it's a very nice loop, uh, mostly highway. I can compare it directly to what we did before. The 2020 heavy duty gas truck did 16 MPG. Where we test when we tested it with Mr. Truck. I can show you that video now. Alright, here we go. It's the moment of truth for the empty truck, right? Yes. Is that all this is? Is this just aluminum hood or is aluminum tailgate too? Well they said they added some aluminum. Oh, 30 seconds. That's a good double click. You want to do it again? No. <laughs> okay. We get all Don't nervous at the these pumps. Trip. I know, we get all nervous at these pumps these days. Okay, 4.134. 4.134 is the number. All right, let's do it. 66 miles, divide by 4.134. Roger. Roger, ooh. Oh, that dropped. 16.0, well, if you round it, 16.0. Only got 30 miles a gallon. 30 seconds, please. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was 30 seconds. 9.531. All right, so 66 miles divided by, what is it? 5, 3, 1. 6.9. I'm assuming because I have more gear ratios, 10 instead of six, that this truck will be more efficient, at least by a measurable amount. So I'm hoping really something above 16 MPG, maybe 17 or even more. Uh, although this is still a humongous truck, uh, it's heavy duty 4x4. It's also quite heavy because it has a lot of options. 
leather seats, like I said, ventilated seat, heated seats, heated steering wheel, the latest interior, all the goodies, even a heads up display. So this truck's curb weight is pushing 7,500 pounds, which is a lot. Um, if this was a diesel truck, of course it would be heavier. Uh, but let's now talk about this engine because it's quite interesting. If you know heavy duty GM trucks from the past, you probably remember the six liter V8 gas engine or even the big blocks 8.1 liter gas V8. Well, those engines are no more. In 2020, they came out with this brand new one. This was the fifth generation Gen 5 LT based V8, still a small block. It's a push rod cam design, overhead cam. And of course, no turbocharging, no cylinder deactivation. It, this engine is really meant for commercial use or heavy duty truck use. And the power was not super, super impressive. When it came out, it had 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque and it's still the same rating now for 2024 model year gm does this all the time they come out with an engine they spend you know of course a lot of development and testing and they set that power level and then they kind of forget it and have that power level for many many years which is pretty much also a good thing because you know this engine can be reliable repeatable and I looked and I cannot find a lot of reliability problems with this engine. So, so far, this engine has served GM quite well. This engine also doesn't have a nickname. Its code name is L8T. Late T. Uh, it should have a name like a elephant or something or Hellcat. Well, I've proposed in the previous video to call this engine the Tiger Jet. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think, Tiger Jet or something else? Uh, give me other suggestions. But I think this name, this engine deserves a nickname. And uh, together, maybe we can make it happen. Well, there you have it, guys. I've made my loop. I can better almost see the Sinclair gas station. I went just about 111 miles and the trip meter says 17 and a half. But I wanted to um, um, your attention right here. Look at my fuel gauge. It still shows basically all full. Isn't that kind of funny how fuel gauges kind of used to be like this? Where it, they don't move at first and then they move really fast near the end and they're still the same. <laughs> It shows me that I almost didn't use any fuel, which would be amazing, of course. But something tells me um, I did use a few gallons. So let me uh, go to the pump and get the real number, but it's promising. I really wanted um, to see a number over 16 miles per gallon, and I am seeing it here on the trip meter. So this is very, very promising. So this transmission, this 10 speed, could really be the key to real world pretty good economy. I do have a 36 gallon tank, which is quite large, although not the biggest tank for a heavy duty truck. Okay, this truck has a 373 rear axle ratio. This is the only rear axle you can get with a gas V8 brand new GM heavy duty truck in 2024. So they don't give you options like some other manufacturers might. Okay, I'm gonna wait 30 seconds and top off. Okay, so here is the damage, 5.746, 111 miles, divide by 5.746, 
Whoa! No way. 19.3. Holy cow. So when Mr. Truck and I tested a version of this truck, previous generation, with a six speed, we got 16 MPG. And I just got 19.3. Wow. Well, different climates. Uh, today was a kind of a 90 degree Fahrenheit day, but I'm super pleased. This is a great number. They should have put this transmission in here from the very beginning. Wow. As always here at TFL, we use heavy duty height adjustable hitches from Gen Y. This has a two and a half inch shank, solid steel, and height adjustments uh, about five different positions. Check them out using the link in the description below. This one, yeah, GH. 2435X. This is exactly the same trailer Mr. Truck and I used last time when we had the Duramax diesel GM heavy duty truck. This trailer weights approximately 10,600 pounds. This is our CAT skid loader and our Big Tex 20 foot tilt trailer. I just topped off for my towing loop. But I just wanna say, I, I'm finally recovering from the surprise of 19.3 MPG when this truck was unladen. And that's really on par with the diesel version of this truck. I'm, I'm super surprised uh, because uh, there was one time where I had the new 2024 Duramax and I got almost 19 MPG during the windy condition on the highway. And there was another time my road trip in 2020 in a Duramax V8 truck with a 10 speed, I got about 19.9. So to get close to that with a gas V8, that's very impressive. But now it's up to me to drive about 111 miles with this heavy trailer so I can let you know how it drives with the trailer. And also, you know, can we come close to that 11 and a half MBG that the Duramax with this trailer put up? I don't think so. Can we do 10? That would be, I think, a really good result. Let's find out. All right, so I just got onto the toll road and I'm setting my cruise control at 75. So I'm following still the same procedure, following speed limits. This is all legal in Colorado, of course. Uh, this is not like California where I have to drive 55 when I'm towing. So it's all good. And I gotta tell you, uh, towing with a new GM heavy duty truck, it's easy work. As soon as they redesigned it in 2020, um, they made it a little bit longer. Um, this frame is a little bit more stout. Uh, that longer wheelbase and that longer bed just, you know, makes for a stable platform. It, it's a it's a pleasure to drive, and this trailer use case is probably perfect for this truck. You know, towing a skid loader and bringing maybe your crew with you to the next construction uh, job. I think this is exactly the use case for this gas V8. But it has to be just efficient enough. Is it worth not spending $9,500 for the diesel? Or is it worth springing extra money for that turbo diesel to get better efficiency and easier towing? Uh, overall in the mountainous terrain. So that's the huge question I'm trying to answer with this video right now. I gotta tell you, um, no problem so far towing. And of course, this is not a huge, huge aerodynamic load, but it is heavy, 10,600 pounds. Okay, so I'm just pausing to reset my camera, and it's exactly the same thing we did last time. But I wanted to um, tell you the starting price of this truck for the LTZ luxurious trim. 
$61,200. This is with the gas engine. But then it has almost $14,000 of options. $6,700 for LTZ premium package, $2,500 for Z71 off-road and protection package, $2,300 for the power retractable assist steps, and almost $500 for the radiant red tin coat paint. Wow, that's a lot of options. I probably would not select most of these options. Save some money because the final price on this truck is $74,000. 655 bucks after a discount that GM provided yeah that's a lot of money so I think I would forego most of those options maybe get an LT bring the price try to get the price down maybe around sixty thousand dollars give and take a couple of grand and I think that becomes a much more compelling choice all right I'm at the end of the loop I went about 111.3 miles according to the trip meter and 8.7 mpg so when i was empty it was showing 17 and a half so i really lost about half of my range so bam this trailer cuts my driving range in half maybe a little bit worse than that so let me go to the pump and see what the pump actually tells me maybe it's a little bit better same procedure i'm gonna top off wait 30 seconds and just make sure it's even. So I'm doing the same procedure every single time and hopefully getting consistent results. Okay, so really, gosh, I really wanna stay not much more than 10 gallons, really, to make, to make this a good result. Or maybe all heavy duty pickup truck buyers should just buy diesel pay more and just just get better better efficiency towing all right that's it let's calculate so there is the damage 12.529 111 miles divide by 12.529 equals 8.9 so actually the trip meter was almost on the money it rounds to 8.9 so with the diesel that was 11 and a half this is almost 9 so that's a significant difference so I would say my final verdict if you're not towing heavy trailers the gas engine still makes a lot of sense you could tow lighter trailers maybe smaller trailers and carry a lot of stuff in the bed of the truck I think that still is a compelling case if you can keep your price down maybe not get every single luxury feature uh, but if you are getting every luxury feature just go diesel all the way let me know what you think in the comments below I'll see you on the next episode thanks for watching and check out alttfl.com for everything automotive in one place right there